Now, before we delve into the study, which was basically the consumption and activity of a simple home exercise program, omega-3 and vitamin D consumed over a period of three years, I should say baseline to three-year follow-up. The study title here doesn't quite do it justice. And this title being, Omega-3 Can Slow Down the Aging Process. The study title in full is, Individual and Additive Effects of Vitamin D, Omega-3 in Exercise on DNA, methyl DNA Methylation Clocks of Biological Aging in Older Adults from the Do Health Trial. See the difference? Now let's delve into the study itself, which again, three years, uh, basically slowed down aging by about four months. I want to give you that information ahead of time uh, because it's not elucidated uh, necessarily until you get further into the study. To proceed, when researchers analyzed blood samples, they found that taking omega-3 fatty acids slowed down biological aging across several epigenetic clocks by up to four months. So three years, 36 divided by four, that's about a month every nine months of consumption of vitamin D, omega-3, and simple home exercise program. All right, regardless of subject's gender, age, or body mass index, the combination of omega-3 and vitamin D and strength training proved to be even more effective according to one of the four epigenetic clocks used. Quoting, this result extends our previous findings from the Do Health study, which is quite amazing. We're gonna get into that in a second in which these three factors combine to the greatest impact on reducing the risk of cancer and preventing premature frailty over a three-year period to slowing down the biological aging process. Each of these measures works through different mechanisms that complement each other and, and when combined, result in a heightened overall effect, according to the study author, Synergistic. All right, backstory, check this out. This is amazing. The goal of our analysis, obviously quoting, was it test the hypothesis that vitamin D supplementation, omega-3 supplementation, and simple home exercise program, SHEP, which is important to know as we look uh, at the graphs to proceed, individually and in combination with slow biological aging in a larger clinical trial. In the Do Health trial, including all 2,157 participants, we reported that omega-3 alone reduced the rate of infection by 13%, just alone. And this is where they probably had that title in the beginning was kind of deceptive. And the rate of falls by 10%. But check this out. When all three interventions combined had a significant additive benefit, synergistic, on reducing pre-frailty by 39% and the incident of evasive cancer by 61% over a three-year follow-up. Now, here's the one chart you want to look at. And I'll leave it up here for a couple of seconds so you can pause it. But you see the SHEP, again, simple home exercise program to give you a better understanding on how it worked to slow down the aging process by itself, individually, or I should say in combination. To proceed to the conclusion, which is kind of like going through the methodology again, but it's important. This randomized, double bind, placebo controlled trial with a two by two by two factorial design had three primary treatment comparisons. 2,000 IUs per day of vitamin D compared to placebo, one gram per day of omega-3s, now check this out, 330 milligrams of EPA plus 660 milligrams DHA from marine algae. Vegans rejoice. Compared to placebo and a strength training exercise program performed for 30 minutes, three times per week, compared to an attention control exercise program focused on joint flexibility performed for 30 minutes, three times per week. The factorial design was chosen to evaluate both the main and combined effects of the interventions. And here's an interesting part too. The age of the participants entering the trial was 70 at least. The inclusion criteria were age 70 years and older. Now you're looking at three years from baseline extending four months in individuals just joining the study at the age of 70 or older. Living at home, having no major health events, no cancer, myocardial infarction in the five years before enrollment. So this is probably one of the easiest ways to basically have, in this case, not just slowing down the aging process, but healthy aging as well, especially when you look at the reduction in invasive cancers and pre-frailty, so on and so forth. 
just by doing 2,000 IUs of vitamin D, simple home exercise program, and basically 330 milligrams of, well, one gram per day of omega-3s, 330, 660. Missing 10 milligrams there on marine algae. Please correct me in the study, in the comments itself. Gratitude, thank you. I'm gonna get that straight one second. It was, yeah, 330 to 660. I wasn't wrong. Again, gratitude. Thank you for the researchers for bringing this wonderful study to us. I am humble you watch and look forward to seeing what you and I both discover next week. I'll catch you all next time. See you then. Bye.